Welcome to Lumu Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about how eukaryotic cells create proteins. It includes transcription and translation. So let's get started. Protein synthesis is the creation of proteins, which are large molecules composed of one or more long chains of amino acids. Protein synthesis begins in the nucleus. DNA is found in the nucleus, and in humans, it is split among 23 chromosomes. A section of DNA that contains the blueprint for a protein is called a gene. The first stage of protein synthesis is called transcription. When a gene is switched on, RNA polymerase attaches to DNA and causes it to unzip. This is called the initiation stage. As the RNA polymerase moves along the unzipped DNA basis of RNA attached to the DNA, this stage is called elongation. RNA is similar to DNA, but does not contain thymine, but instead contains uracil. If you have this strand of DNA messenger, RNA or mRNA for short, would pair up like this. Notice that the adenine pairs up with the uracil. When the RNA polymerase reaches a stop code, it detaches from the DNA and the mRNA is complete. This step is called termination. The mRNA travels out of the nucleus and into the cytoplasm. The mRNA will eventually find a ribosome in the cytoplasm or one attached to the ER where the mRNA will begin the next stage of protein synthesis called translation. Translation occurs at the ribosome and is an important stage of protein synthesis. Messenger RNA that has traveled from the nucleus arrives at a ribosome. Ribosomes are found in the cytoplasm and in some cells at the ER. Ribosomes are protein-making machines and are made up of rRNA and proteins. Ribosomes consist of two major components, the small subunit, which reads the RNA, and the large subunit, which joins amino acids to form a polypeptide chain. At the ribosome, the messenger RNA is read three units at a time. This triplet is called a codon. A transfer RNA has an anticodon, which matches with the codon and has an amino acid attached. As a new transfer RNA moves to the mRNA, the amino acids bond together with a peptide bond, and a string of amino acids begins to form called a polypeptide chain. This process will continue until a stop codon is read. In this example, the stop codon is UGA. A transfer RNA has an anticodon attached and an amino acid. The anticodon is a unit made up of three nucleotides that correspond to the three bases of the codon on the mRNA. Each amino acid attaches to a particular codon. You can use an amino acid chart to see which codon matches with each amino acid. After the stop code is reached, the string of amino acids may begin to fold into a functional protein. So there we go, translation and protein synthesis. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.